Hello everyone, how to solve for x in this radical equation? So let's get started. First, let's move this negative square root of 3 minus 2 to the right hand side of the equation. So we will have square root of x plus 7 is equal to 1 plus, because this is negative here, square root of 3 times x minus 2. Two. Then the next thing we will do is we will eliminate this square root by raising each side of the equation to the second power so that this square will cancel this square root. We have x plus 7 is equal to, now let's expand this, 1 squared is 1, then square root of 3x minus 2 squared, the square will undo this one, so we will have plus 3x minus 2, then 1 times square root of 3x minus 2 is still this 1, times 2, we're going to have plus 2 square root of 3x minus 2. Now let's move all the terms without square root to the left hand side of the equation. So we have 1 minus 2, that is minus 1, if it crosses the equation sign to be positive. 1, right, plus this 7 making 8, so you have 8, then 3x, if it comes here to be negative, so you have negative 3x plus s, that is 2x, is equal to what we have here, which is 2 square root of 3x minus 2, and now we can reduce the values in this equation. Let's factor 2 out here. We have 2 times 4 minus x is equal to 2 square root of 3x minus 2. Then we will divide each side of the equation by 2. So that these two will cancel this and then this one will also cancel this as well. So we have 4 minus x is equal to square root of 3x minus 2. And again, we will square each side of the equation to remove the square root. Right? So let's expand the left hand side. 4 squared is 16. Then negative x squared, that will be positive x squared. Then 4 times negative x is negative 4x times 2, that will be negative 8x is equal to this square will also cancel this, we have 3x minus 2. Since we have a quadratic equation, let's equate everything to 0. So we will keep those on the left hand side, we have x squared, then we will move this 3x to the left hand side, we will have negative 8x minus 3x, that is negative 11x, then we also move this negative 2, to the left hand side plus this 16 making 18 so we have plus 18 is equal to 0. Then from here we will look for two factors that when you multiply them you will get positive 18 but when you sum them up you will get negative 11 and the factors are negative 2 and then negative 9. Negative 2 times negative 9 that is positive 18. Negative 2 plus negative 9, that is negative 11. So let's put these factors into the equation. So the equation now becomes x squared minus 2x minus 9x plus 18 is equal to 0. From these two terms, we can take x out. So we have x times x minus 2. Then from these two terms, we can take negative 9 out so that we have x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now we have x minus 2, x minus 2, so we can also take that one out. Then this side we are left with x and here we are left with negative 9 and this is equal to 0. At this point we can say that x minus 2 is equal to 0 or x minus 9 is equal to 0. If we add 2 to the both sides of this equation, we have x to be 2, 
or if we add 9 to each side of this equation, we're going to have x is equal to 9. So these are the values of x, but it doesn't end here. We need to test which of these values of x satisfies the equation. Right? So let's see. If x is equal to 2, we're going to have 2 plus 7, which is 9. So you have root 9 minus 3 times 2 is 6 minus 2, that is 4. So we're going to have square root of 4. Square root of 9 is 3. Square root of 4 is 2. 3 minus 2 is, of course, 1. So we see that we have gotten uh, this one, right? Now let's test for x equals 9. If x is equal to 9, we're going to have 9 plus 7, which is 16. So we have root 16 minus 3 times 9 is 27 minus 2, that is 25. So we will have root 25. Square root of 16 is 4 minus square root of 25 is 5. And this is equal to negative 1. And of course, negative 1 is never equal to 1. So it means that x equals 9 does not satisfy the equation. So the correct answer to this problem is x equals 2, right? Thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share. So these are the steps you can go through.